I think that people might be taking the 4K UHD Blu-ray format a little too seriously, and I just want to rant about it a little bit. Now, before we start, yes, my channel is about physical media, and yes, I've done 4K reviews for seven plus years now, but if you've watched recent content of mine, you know I'm shifting away from that a little bit, and I want to focus more on the reason I actually started this channel, which was to share my love for movies, to share my collection with the world and talk about things that I love and share that love for physical media. And I'm getting away from the traditional 4K review. And this rant is a little bit of the reason why. A lot of this comes about because of the recent James Cameron 4K releases of Aliens, True Lies, and The Abyss. And I totally understand the controversial choices that were made and I understand why it upsets some people. Like, I get all of this. But if you watched my video, even though I was critical at times, and yeah, it may have come off as negative, didn't intend to be too negative, the underlying point is that these are all better than anything we've ever had. These are better. True Lies had a DVD release. This is better. Yeah, it's got some weird scenes, and it's wonky, and little AI in some ways, but it's better. Aliens? is better. 98% of the film looks better than the Blu-ray. And The Abyss is stunning. Again, a movie we only had on DVD. This is a stunning, stunning upgrade. They're all better. They have their cons, but they're all better. When you look at the 4K format, we're at a peak of physical media. It's an amazing time to get discs and collect discs because 4K is a peak. We're not going to go higher than this. It's not going to be 8K discs. It doesn't make sense. 4K is the last physical media format. And the releases look incredible. The reality is that 99.9% .9 of the 4K releases out on the market are just better than the Blu-ray. They're the best version we have available. And that's part of what started to get me kind of burnt out on doing 4K reviews was it was like, how many different ways can I say that this looks great, that this is the best it's ever looked? And it got down to a point of like, I have to nitpick pixel by pixel, screenshot versus screenshot, you know, dive deep into, you know, there's there's people out there that will dive into the color grade and the warmth and the HDR peaks and valleys. And that's all super cool if you wanna do that. I have no problem with you guys doing that if that's what you're into. But for me, somebody who just likes movies it it was like it's it feels like too much it feels like we're splitting hairs truly at a certain point when the reality is that there are like maybe two or three discs all time on the 4k format that i would say eh, not worth it and even then if they were like five bucks i'd probably still buy them and that's like terminator 2 and pirates of the caribbean if pirates of the caribbean was cheap i would still buy it it's probably better than the Blu-ray in a lot of ways. If Terminator 2 was five bucks on 4K, I'd buy it, I would. There's even other discs that I haven't loved, like Planes, Trains, or Automobiles. That's still the best it's ever looked, and it has deleted scenes, and there's other reasons to buy that package. I would buy that. Inglorious Bastards, I never really loved, but it is better than the Blu-ray. It looks better than the Blu-ray, I would absolutely buy the 4K first. I just thought it could have been a little bit better. And that's what I mean by the nitpicking and the like, we're getting down to a point where like we're literally splitting pixels. Forget splitting hairs, we're splitting pixels. And we're going pixel by pixel and stopping and grabbing, you know, at 30 minutes and 25 seconds, this is a little bit more red than this. And to me, like that's just not, that's not what I wanna do because what happened was I was watching movies and I was pausing or I was obsessing over the TV settings and trying to get them right, obsessing over volume and it, it you become so obsessed with the technology and trying to like figure out is this better is this worse and you just forget that like the reason you bought it in the first place for most of us is just because we love the movie we just want to watch it and enjoy it and that is the case for 99 percent of the people who will buy these james cameron movies on 4k they 
just want to watch the movie and it's exciting to have it in a brand new format. And is it perfect? No, it's far from perfect. But you know what? It's better than anything we've ever had. And that's the reality for 99.9% .9 of these discs is the review could be two seconds long and it could be, hey, this is better than what we had before. Yeah, you should buy this version. So for my reviews going forward, when I do the reviews, what I want to really focus on more is like the movie. Is this a good movie? Should you buy it? Do I like this movie? Let's talk about that. And then the other things like the types of packaging and the options you have, because that could change your buying decision. I want to talk about the special features that are available because that could also change your mind, right? Those kind of real consumer choices that you have to make, not, hey, at 32 minutes, I thought that uh, it was a little bit blurry and on the Blu-ray, it was more clear. And if you really stop and pause at the, nobody's doing that. That's the reality. Nobody's stopping and pausing and looking at their old Blu-ray and then going back and being like, mm, this isn't as good. It's That's a niche, niche, niche thing. And for you guys that do it, I appreciate you. I'll probably still watch them because I do have a certain interest in that as well. And I'm very interested in the restoration process and how all of this works. And some of those technical details, honestly, for me, whoosh, right over my head. Plus, I don't really care. I don't care about heat maps and all this other stuff to prove this is good or prove this is bad. And that's what's kind of burning me out. I've seen so many comments on, no, these are bad. No, these are good. No, I hate these. No, they, like, do you like the movie? If you like the movie, then just watch it on the best format or whatever format you want to watch it on. Hell, if you want to watch The Abyss on VHS because you think it's cooler, watch the abyss on vhs there's nothing wrong with that the same way there's nothing wrong with watching the 4k disc they're not it's not bad or good or this stinks and let me prove to you why with you know a 50 page detailed analysis it's just not where i'm at anymore i don't think it's uh healthy to the community i think it hurts physical media i think it sets a barrier of entry for people who think that this is more complicated than it needs to be especially i have new collectors all the time who i feel like are kind of freaking out and they're dming me like uh should i buy this or should i buy that or is the blu-ray good enough or is the 4k good enough and my response has turned into look do you love the movie which formats do you like? Do you have a 4K player? All right, then buy the 4K disc. Oh, it's a little too expensive? Buy the Blu-ray. Save a few bucks. Like, we're, we're, we have an embarrassment of riches right now when it comes to movies, when it comes to what's available on Blu-ray and 4K. And, and there's still lots to come. And I hope there's a lot more. But like, the fact that these are even in an HD format in your home like is incredible. That they're on a 4K format in your home is even more incredible because a lot of times it's better than movie theaters can give you. Like my local AMC looks worse than my basement. Like I'd rather watch a movie in my basement than my local AMC. Now, IMAX and Dolby Theater aside, we have such an embarrassment of riches when it comes to the technical quality of these things that to start splitting hairs, I'm... I'll just say like, I'm out of that game now. I'm definitely out of that game. So when you get a review from me, we're gonna talk about the movies. We're gonna talk about the benefits of physical media. We're gonna talk about the benefits of this disc versus the others, but we're not gonna do screenshot comparisons. We're not gonna get into the nitty gritty. I don't think it's, it's helpful for the mass majority of people. And what I'm really trying to do with this channel, the real true message of this channel is not to tell you whether a 4K disc is good or not. And I know that became, I got sucked into that for a long time. My message now is just, I wanna spread the love and share physical media and hopefully get more people to buy into Blu-ray and 4K and buy their favorite movies and start a little miniature collection. And if not, I just wanna help you find great movies and get out of the algorithms. Just come to my channel and discover some new movies that you might enjoy. Whether I'm talking about them on disc as part of a review or I'm doing a different type of video or giving you collection update or going through my entire Criterion collection and talking about those. Those are all the kinds of videos I wanna do. Getting back to the core of why I really started this in the first place. And again, like I don't, this is not negative. This is not aimed at anybody. I did this for five years, six years. I did screenshot versus screenshot. I put in a Blu-ray and a 4K side by side and I'm sitting there with my eyes peeled open like this, like trying to find the differences. I did it. There's nothing wrong with that. 
There are great channels out there who will continue to do that. If you're in that part of the niche where that stuff really matters to you, I say all the power to you. I know I'm like just, you know, invalidating years and years of content, but it's that's just a part of, I think, maturing as a collector. And I just wanna celebrate what we do have because what we do have is great, it's amazing. 99.9% .9 of the time, it's the best we've ever seen. And that is such a cool time. Like that's such a cool thing to be alive for. We're alive for the 4K format. You know, there were there are people who never saw past the VHS tape. We're alive, we're in this time right now where you can watch a 4K UHD remaster of a movie like Piranha. That's an incredible time to be alive and that's what I wanna celebrate. I basically just wanna relieve, like there should be no anxiety to collecting on like, oh, this isn't good enough, I can't watch this. This is like, mm, I hate that. There shouldn't be anxiety. There shouldn't trigger your anxiety when you go to a store and you're like, oh, which one do I buy? Like just the 4K disc is the answer almost every single time, almost every single time. And if any other product was that way, like you would just go and buy it. Like imagine if 99% of the cars were just always rated like, yes, this is an improvement. This is better. Car buying would be so easy. It wouldn't be as anxious and as stressful. Like buying a TV, if 99% of the time it was just like, yeah, great panel, great technology, no issues, software is solid. Yeah, they're all really good. This is like literally one of the few things in the world where you can say 999 times out of a thousand you're making the right decision by just buying this. Just buy the 4K and you've made the right decision. It's the best we've ever had. That is, that should be a relief instead of something that causes anxiety and stress. So I see all your messages. I've been trying to preach this for a little bit and I just wanna like come out with it because I think it's time to get the message out there. I know my friend Heath, Serial at Midnight, he's been saying this for a while. You know, he goes even further into like, if it's not on 4K, I won't buy it. I agree with him, like who cares? We're still getting great discs and great movies uh, on HD formats. Like I'm with him on a lot of this stuff and I think that that positivity, like take the stress out of physical media, take the anxiety out of buying and building a collection and just love your collection for what it is, no matter what the format is. But if you have to make those, you know, what could be considered tough decisions on upgrading or not, let it just come down to how much you like the movie and what your budget is. That's the, that, at the end of the day, that's it because they're all great. Do you like the movie? And do you have enough money to upgrade it? And it's going for a decent price? Eh, hell, go for it. You don't have the money? Keep your Blu-ray. You're fine. Ah, you don't really love the movie? Keep your Blu-ray. You're fine. Like, that should be the only decision maker. Um, I just don't want people getting stressed out over pixels. Pix they're just pixels. They're pixels in color. And 99% of this is just beautiful. So that's it. I'm not coming into the comments. So I'm not even going to say, hey, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I'm going to let you guys, you know, sort this one out yourselves because YouTube comments alone. I know that the silent majority of you out there who just enjoy these videos, but there can be a very vocal minority in the comments. So I'm just going to let that run its course, play its game. But if you agree with me, you know, great. If you don't, great i just want people to be happy with what they bought and be happy with their collections and just like let's not add one more stressor to our lives because we're talking about movies and we're talking about plastic and discs so like let's just love them for what they are thank you for watching rant over if you want to follow me on social media those links are in the description and right here if you want to subscribe to the channel always welcome that as well you're going to get lots of new movie recommendations physical media topics i want to just spread this word about collecting and physical media and and give you inspiration on movies to buy and things like that like that's that's the channel going forward we're going to talk the good talk about physical so if you like that stay here subscribe um, otherwise hope you guys have a great rest of your day stay safe and healthy keep watching great movies don't stress about the 4k versus the blu-ray it's 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 not worth it in many cases so don't stress watch great movies and i'll talk to you all soon